man. Uh, Nine thirty. Let's get uh, the president of the mayor's council in Guam, uh, Mayor of Dedido, Melissa Savars, on the show. Morning, Mayor. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we just hadn't heard from you in a little bit, and kind of wanted to find out. Um, you know, as the head of the mayor's uh, council of Guam, what's been going on with the village uh, mayors? Well, you know, those of us that have our uh, senior citizen centers, we continue to um, issue meals to those that are registered seniors in our centers. Um, last week, we were also some of us were also helping um, uh, pa- uh, deliver meals to the homebound. Uh, because some of their drivers were not able to come to work. And so um, uh, we we did that for a few days. Uh, Our offices continue to receive requests for people who are renewing their public assistance applications as far as their boot stamp and Medicaid applications. So we are doing um, phone calls only uh, if there's residents that still need those applications. there's verifications, and we are emailing it directly to the caseworkers. Uh, public health caseworkers are still uh, working on the renewal process, and of course, you know, as you know, uh, there are some many residents that have shortened hours, so um, they feel that they may qualify for the food stamp program. Uh, so what we're doing is um, also preparing those documents, the verifications that they live in the communities. Uh, and sending that to caseworkers at public health. So, you know, and then, um, you know, some residents, um, we're also helping with traffic control at the various schools in Dedido. We have three schools that have uh, the meal, uh, meals, grab and go uh, meals for the children 18 and below. Uh, so our staff are out there assisting with uh, traffic control for those uh, particular schools that are, um, you know, passing, giving food out to the, the children as well. Mayor. Mayor, I okay. wanted to ask you, so we had uh, several of uh, your colleagues on the Mayor's Council of Guam uh, talking about the what they felt um, was the need to know if any COVID-19 positive patients were in their villages. Uh, and we you know we talked to a few uh, different mayors. What are your thoughts on that? And have you heard one way or another if uh, the village of Dedido is uh, housing any uh, COVID-19 positives that are in home isolation? Um, You know, I know that we have a few, I mean, a small number, uh, and those are isolated in their, they're quarantined in their homes. Uh, I know the concerns from my colleagues were how who's policing them to make sure that they're staying indoors, they're not outside, not roaming around. Uh, Of course, you know, Public health does make contact with those. If it's not directly to their homes, I, they're calling them. I've had two residents that said they're on quarantine and, um, you know, they they continue to get calls from public health. I had one resident who said his family, he emailed us and said his family's in quarantine. What can he do for food? And so I sent, I replied to him that if he needs something, we can bring him non-perishable stuff. Uh, you know that we have some donations of non-perishable food that have been donated. If he just lets us know where he's at, uh, we would send that to him. Um, he replied that he's okay right now, but should his quarantine need to go longer? They're not symptomatic though. Uh, if their quarantine needs to get longer, uh, he will let us know where we can deliver uh, to their doorsteps or their front door. So that they can uh, at least get that. How are you able to? How are you able to find out that there were uh, COVID nineteen positives in your village? Was this just something that they, the patients themselves, yeah, they offered would, they willingly? Two, two of them had actually called, uh, emailed us, and said we're on sw- home quarantine. Home um, quarantine or home isolation? A home isolation. I'm sorry, a home isolation, and it was the entire family, uh, you know, because they were exposed. So, uh, you know, we did email back and ask if they're symptomatic. He said, not yet. You know, they don't have any symptoms. But because they were exposed to somebody who did, who was also um, there, they're in isolation at home. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, of course, their concern was, what if we need food? 
Uh, another concern that, you know, he's, he gets medications. If one individual from the family uh, needs to refill medications. Uh, you know, and we said we, we can help where we need to, where we can, uh, when we can. Uh, you know, we'll work with the pharmacy, show them our credentials that, you know, we're picking up uh, medication if they call it in. But, um, you know, the, when, when concerns like that come to us, uh, you know, we're ready to assist. Uh, the delivery will be, of course, you know, um, with caution. You know, we have masks. What do you do? You put it gloves. with the bag on a really long tongue and tongue and just kind of <laughs> stretch it out? or <laughs> No, you know, especially like when we were delivering meals last week, uh, Chris and Serena, what we did mm-hmm. is, uh, you know, we, we informed the seniors to put a chair or a small table by mm-hmm. their door and we will deliver it. They don't come out, so we don't have contact with them. But when we leave, because uh, we honk the horn, when we get there, we see the chair. And then when we're in our cars is when they open the door and wave at us. So we have no physical contact with them and where there is social distancing. Um, Mayor uh, Savaris, we had the governor on the show yesterday and we asked her about uh, addressing the homeless population because two of the positive patients are homeless. and. She did say that they are looking at options uh, to provide some sort of a shelter for them or shelters for homeless people. And I'm wondering, have has the Mayor's Council of Guam been folded into that discussion? Uh, we did have a discussion uh, with uh, uh, the communications uh, team uh, with the governor's office and Dr. Cabrera on Sunday uh, through via Zoom. And, uh, of course, the concerns were where uh you know keeping people out of our our parks and making sure that social distancing is practiced in the community and uh that was something that mayor um mayor rivera brought up as the homelessness and the homeless uh community and um she because she you know says in her parks as their pavilions uh there is no social distancing when there's two or three of them under a pavilion and uh so of course the concern was uh, continuing to educate them and seeing if there's another place that we can isolate them at. Uh, but we haven't heard yet. I know that the governor is working with their housing team to find a facility that they can go to where there will be social distancing. Okay, so since Sunday, no other communication uh, about? Not yet, not at this time. Did, was there any indication where that facility might be or if it'd be multiple facilities or in northern Guam, southern Guam? Um, we're not Guam? quite sure. Uh, I, I believe it's something somewhere in central Guam that they're they're looking at. We had heard uh, Agania Pool area. Did you hear anything about that, uh, Mayor? I checked with the mm-hmm. uh, Agania Mayor and he didn't know. No, I don't know anything about the Agania Pool area. Okay. Okay, and, and and there's also heads up, Mayor. We got a comment here, Mayor. What about the residents across the Stumbo Elementary School trash piled up around the house? Uh, we've we've addressed that uh, two weeks ago. We took some stuff out. We need this family to uh, sort out through their mm-hmm. things. They continue to pile. I drive by there because, like I said, uh, Stumbo Elementary is one of our distribution sites for uh, grab and go lunches for the children, and so. I uh, continue to make, you know, contacts during my drive-bys with this particular family, and we're working with them to reduce that pile. Okay. Thank you, All Mayor. Right. Anything else you wanted to get out? Uh, you know, uh, we've barricaded um, our parks, you know, especially our basketball courts, because there is no social distancing when you're playing basketball. Mm. Uh, you know, there's that contact, physical contact sometimes, and so... Uh, we barricaded those areas. Uh, we just wanted the community to, you know, when you see caution tapes, things roped off, please, you know. Uh, that means stay forward. away. That doesn't mean go up close and see what the caution yeah. is about. Right, right. right yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. okay. Have Thanks a good Thanks a lot. Day. Steph, wash serious. your hands, Mayor. Oh, there you go. Uh, she's the president of the Mayor's Council of Guam. Denny Doe Mayor Melissa Savarez. And wow, so she def- she has the COVID-19 positives in her uh, village. And interesting to hear her talk about how uh, they do things like